OK, Aubameyang has 13 goals in 32 appearances in all competitions this campaign. And the Arsenal skipper, he was left out of Arsenal's squad through illness for their impressive win at Sheffield United on Sunday. Alexander Lacazette's brace in that game takes him to 13 Premier League goals for the season. That's four more than Aubameyang, who's currently on nine. Um, Aubameyang, just for contrast, scored 22 Premier League goals last season. There's lots been made of, of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's mm-hmm. season because he has been off the boil a fair bit. Um, still captain... Are they better without him at the moment? Uh, I think at times this season, and certainly at the weekend, you'd have to say that at times they look better with him. I mean, Aubameyang's maybe one of them centre-forwards that, listen, when he, everything's going well, like you heard in the commentary, I think it was Sam, when he scored the goals in the semi-final mm. and the final, he was un, you had to have him in the team, he was, he was that good. And you had to get him to sign the new contract, yeah, You right? had to get him to do it. But I don't think we've seen that Aubameyang this season. Maybe the first game of the season against Fulham, we saw it, where he was, he was sensational, but he hadn't still signed the contract yet. But I think if you, in terms of going forward and Arsenal at the minute, there's times where if he hasn't scores, he's, he's like a passenger. So at times they're playing with 10 men. Whereas one thing about Lacazette you know you'll get from him is, yeah, he might not score the same amount of goals that Aubameyang scores, but I think he offers a lot more in terms of his hold-up play, brings people into the game. And this season, I mean, certainly at the weekend, two great goals that he scored. Um, so I think at times, yeah, Arsenal do look better without him. And, and that's not how a captain should be because a captain should be virtually undroppable. That one of the first, in, in terms of mm-hmm. attitude, and even if they're not playing well, they're still working hard for the team and you, you'd still go well even though he's not having the best of his games he's still got an influence on the rest of the team and I kind of feel like at times where Aubameyang's the captain but they're still sometimes playing with 10 men his body language has been a bit strange for, for a lot of the season as well Ali because yeah. normally he yeah. is so smiling ear to ear really up for it really into every challenge really taking the team forward which is which is why he got the captaincy he's a leader yep. but you're not seeing that this season I, I just wonder what's wrong I don't know but I think that's a very um, very fair point and valid point that you've made there. Um, never mind, he doesn't look the, the the same player, which he doesn't. He doesn't look the same person, mm. you know. Which, you know, you look at the, their body language, you look at their characteristics, you look at the way they play the game. He was always playing the game with a smile, you know. He, he enjoyed his goals, he celebrated his goals, and he just doesn't look to me as though he's in that that place. He's obviously had. One or two, not run-ins with the manager, but he's 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 been disciplined by the manager Arteta, rightly so. Um, and I'm not sure that he's he's just fully reacted the way that perhaps Arsenal fans or Arteta want to see him react. It's an interesting question because that you asked Darren, because you know I definitely think certainly an in for him, Obama Yang. He, he, he plays every every game for yeah. Arsenal. I don't have any doubt about that. But can you afford to leave somebody of that talent out your team? It's a heck of a decision a, a Tetis to make, considering he's arguably one of, one of, if not your most talented player, your captain, your leader, everything. So that that in itself is an incredible decision to make because there are there are captains that play in teams that managers won't drop if they have a loss of form. And I can understand that because of the the, the reaction they have to their team. Yeah. You know, their teammates have them. You know what I mean, Darren? Yeah. You know, they, they, they can respond to them. They, they might not be having a, a brilliant game or a brilliant period themselves, but they continue to lead by example and are an example to their teammates. I'm not sure Obama Yang is that when he's not playing well. Well, they've got the second leg of that game in the Europa League on Thursday, 8 o'clock, Slavia Prague against Arsenal. It's on TalkSport 2. They drew that first leg. Um, terrible, 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 really, for them. Um, Aubameyang came off the bench. Will he start in that game? Will he be back in time? We'll see. Um, they really need to do something in Europe because if they don't, I think the pressure is massively on Mikel Arteta. Mm.